and we have IKEA pack sliding doors problems here. You see the drawers are cannot open because the doors are twisted. Uh, huge gaps at the back here. You see those bubbles on the back panel and uh, the side panels. The doors on the middle, huge gaps on the top and uneven doors on the side as well. See the gap all the way up there, different than on the bottom and the top here. The drawers hitting the doors cannot open it up. So this was done by IKEA Preferred Assembly Service. I'm not blaming them and uh, I'm sure they have a lot of good assemblers, but in this case the customers wasn't that lucky. There is a lot of stuff here, a questionable lot of stuff was left behind. So if you have a, if you are if you are a customer, you should ask a few questions if you have a lot of stuff left out. I'm gonna take you through all this to this stage where you can open the drawers, the doors lining up nicely on the side and on the on the middle. As you see here we have the middle door connecting here together, that's how customer want it. They say it's impossible to fix it, so let's check that out. what we have here the doors you see on the top and on the bottom there is a huge gap and a not equal gap as well it's about two fingers on the middle company who, who assembled these wardrobes they said it's, it's impossible to fix it as well the drawers they cannot uh, even slide out you have to push the doors hard in to get the drawers out so just remove all the drawers out once I was taking the drawers out I could see there is a lot of stuff missing here they're supposed to have those uh, metal brackets there under the lock for the drawer they didn't put them there so if you have stuff in put them in you see there are a lot of nails left behind so you're gonna have uh, those bubbles on the back panel of the wardrobe as well as i showed you previously regarding those brackets under the drawers if you have them just put them in i didn't put them back because those uh, uh those plastic locks for the drawers they are a bit funny if you take them in and out a few times you're gonna wear the hole and then they are gonna lose completely uh, the point why they are there so you see here the gap is about two fingers on the top and on the middle on the top is a bit smaller than the bottom but it's a huge gap which they say as I mentioned is impossible to fix it so I show you in a few minutes how to do that easily drawers on the other side exactly the same as on the on the right side hard to come out the bottom one scratching the doors already that's unacceptable. I can imagine it's very frustrating when you get those huge wardrobes. You pay seven, eight hundred pounds or dollars for it, and then you have this result. That could be crazy. So uh, the customer they call the service a few times. They say it's impossible to do it, or they offer to come again, but they ask me to check it out. What I think about it. So here is it. What I think about it. How to fix it. So as I mentioned before, if you have a lot of stuff left behind, a lot of plastic brackets, kind of screws, some uh, sometimes you're left with the stuff uh, behind, but not that much as in this case. Just ask a question. It could be a bit annoying from the uh, for the assemblers, but if you have a question, just ask. See the rubber here is not cut as well, so you, if you understand how these things work, you should you gonna see this uh, straight away what is wrong what is done uh, not correctly and uh, what is supposed to be done here so you see those guys who were who were doing this job uh, they didn't really know what they're doing you see a lot of plastic and stuff uh, left behind a lot of nails and uh, those brackets as well so just ask question uh, don't be shy if you have any doubts you spend a lot of money on it you don't want another disappointment or divorce over those what you see the the bubbles at the back because they didn't put the nails in as I did, I doubt the frames are done correctly as well. There is few gaps between the panels. I'm gonna show you that in a moment as well. Here there is slight adjustment on the hinges. You can uh, twist the door left or right here. Just put a long key there on the middle, and uh, you can twist the door left and right. This is just slight adjustment, and I don't use that often. I prefer to do it this way. How uh, I'm gonna show you in a moment. Uh, before I would do the adjustment on the hinges. You see there. There's those brackets was missing there. Once you take those plastics out and put them in back in, uh, you're gonna wear the hole and uh, it's gonna lose the point there. Remove all the drawers, everything, all the interiors from the wardrobe before you're gonna start to fix the fix the doors, so you have access to everything. As I mentioned before, it's important to do the frame correctly, frames correctly as well. So basically, connect the frame correctly. Make sure you're using all the nails and everything what you have in a box, what, uh, what IKEA give you. There's not that many of them, and if you don't use all of them, then it, disaster is going to strike at the end. As well, when you do the frames, make sure you 
do it right you measure from corner to corner basically gonna have the same number so you achieve 90 degrees on each corner of the wardrobe and that's how you prevent later on uh, the doors not going funny because probably your floor is not gonna be exactly straight and if the frames are not done correctly that's gonna be a bigger problem Okay, here we have those stoppers on the top. You see that plastic stopper where the door's closing to it. They also are adjustable. So the guys, they say that it's impossible to uh, to move the doors closer together because that's how is it done. But uh, you just open this one screw here. You don't need to open it completely. Just open it a few twists. And there is a closing mechanism under it and just push it all left and right. There is adjustment about one centimeter so you can basically close the doors one centimeter left or right if you want if you prefer them bit out you can leave it that way so you're gonna be it's gonna be easier to open them up as i mentioned the doors in this case the two doors on the middle they're gonna be together you can do it customer one this way because it looks nicely visually this way but you can do it um, one left one right so it's gonna be easier to open on the middle so we're gonna adjust the other one as well to reduce the gap on the middle you can use kind of a a rubber see-through stickers if you have want to have a little bit of gap or just push those plastic exactly how you want it and you're going to be able to open it easier the middle doors there it is open the screw move that stopper left or right where you need it and that's how you reduce the gap on the middle so that was the impossible fix from ikea's preferred assembly service and that's how you do it in a real life here <laughs> okay so easy fix as you see no need to get divorced over this or be frustrated so now we have the top nicely together almost but the bottom still flying so you see there is a gap opening at the bottom of the doors so we're gonna have to reduce that gap at the bottom as well here if you have uh, two people that would be useful you can try to do this and you can try to do this on the side you're gonna use those spacers gonna you can get them in any DIY shop if you don't have them you can use uh, folded cardboard or a bit of a bit of wood under the water basically we're gonna slide it under the water we're gonna move the middle part up and gonna twist the door slightly because those wardrobes are huge even this like a half centimeter of the of this small plastic or whatever you have gonna make a huge difference at the bottom you're gonna see it in a moment you see when I move the wardrobe the doors moving left and right already so I know that's the fix you can do that on the side as well if the, your doors are running on any on any side and I move it that spacers on the left or right side remove all the the rails here there is one more thing you can you can try it before but i would not suggest to do this uh, too much because uh, especially when you have a carpet because those legs are a bit fiddly and here as you can see they connect the wardrobes not very good as well here you're gonna have there is a bit of gap between the side panel and dividing panel you can see it here where the arrow is pointing you see there is basically gap there make sure your your frames are connected properly when you do the frames otherwise all these small bits and bobs you don't put the nails you don't do that correctly it's gonna kick you at the end when you do the doors so this is just slight adjustment if it's gonna work perfect but don't go crazy here because it's pushing hard on those on those screws when you do the legs as well here we have the carpet so it's not that uh, strong those legs uh, they should do something else instead of those legs they're pushing too hard on the, the middle you see the gap didn't close at all and i don't want to push on those original legs adjustable legs there uh, too hard because i don't want to pressurize the the bottom panel gonna have to put something under the wardrobe i think that's the better option because it's gonna be more steady than the legs pressurizing the bottom panels all the time as i mentioned before you can do this on the side as well if your doors running funny on the side on each side just play with it put a small bit under the side it should reduce the gap on the doors on the left or on the right you can do that on either side depend when your door is going funny so in this case we have biggest problem on the middle we have another person here good if not you can do it yourself um in some cases so just lift it up push the plastic in and that's how it how is it done you see the gap is beautifully reduced at the bottom as well and nice equal all, all the way down so happy with that gonna be a bit harder to open the wardrobe but that's how customer wanted the visual look uh, look pretty cool when those two mirrors are there here the gap is still a little bit but it's much better than it was before and reduced here on this side as well 
we're gonna check the drawers if everything works as i mentioned i'm not gonna put those uh, brackets there they are uh, ikea did them uh, just recently but it's a is a good thing uh, it's a good thing to put them there because it's not gonna work just a hole there but i don't want to take those plastic out because i don't want to wear the holes and uh, the lock's gonna become useless uh, over time I just put the drawers in check if the doors is not hitting the drawers anymore lock it in place with those plastic under the drawers and check you see beautiful gap here not touching the doors at all i check the other side exactly the same as i mentioned before all those steps when you do the frame and everything make sure you're doing things right if you don't know or if you have any doubt if somebody coming to assemble the wardrobe maybe just ask the question if they know how to do it if they did this before usually they say yes because they want to take the money but if you have any doubts uh, sometime it's better to maybe find another solution to call someone who can answer your question straight away and uh, you see he no, have no doubt uh, regarding the whole things because it's a pretty complex wardrobes so all the steps have to be right in title to get the door right at the end you can follow my videos by the way about everything in detail so you cannot you can uh, you can reduce all those problems before they happen so all drawers are moving nicely very happy with that how it work out here you see excellent gap here no problem at all and on the other side exactly the same happy with all that so that's how it looks when everything is in door sliding nicely and all the drawers and everything it work out so as i mentioned before just ask the question if you have a doubt no problem at all you spend all this money so make sure that things are done correctly i hope this video helped to have a better idea what you can expect when you get the people to assemble those wardrobes or maybe fixing the problem with the door yourself thank you for watching guys have a fantastic day and see you in my next one very very soon mm -hmm.